Hey guys, it's Alex. I'm back. Uh, I haven't put a video up for a while, so I just wanted to show you something quick in Photoshop. I'm going to show you how to create uh, quick ribbons. Uh, they're pretty popular, and with the holidays coming up, uh, a lot of people are looking for this kind of work, so I'm going to show you a fast way to do it. Let's go ahead and open up Photoshop. Let's create a new document. You can press Control N to do that. And let's set our width to 800 by 800, and white is fine. Let's go ahead and say OK. And let's go ahead and grab the rectangle tool and let's draw a rectangle. Okay, that's great. And what I want to do is just knock out this area. I want to knock, create some notches. So in order to do that, I'm going to hold down shift and I'm just going to draw another rectangle like that. And it should be added to the same layer. If it's not, you want to cut it and then paste it back onto the same layer. And let's go ahead and press A which will give us the point selection tool and let's grab this rectangle and let's turn it sideways okay now let's move that into place holding down uh, A again and getting the proper tool I'm just gonna come until this intersects part like that and now I'm gonna select both of these layers and I'm gonna go right here to the path operations and I'm gonna select subtract front shape okay great and let's hold down a let's select this object again and let's copy it and control C and paste it control V and let's move it over here and let's put it in the exact same place where the intersections create that and let's select all three and let's go back to the path operations and select merge component shapes now what I want to do is create the uh, background so let's go ahead and duplicate that I'm just gonna grab this and I'm going to drag it onto the new layer icon in the dock. Okay, and let's move that down. And let's make that a little bit darker. Okay, cool. And let's put that underneath. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is just select this object and I'm going to press P. And then I'm going to click this point and remove it. Okay. Now, holding down Shift A, I'm going to go to the direct tool selection and I'm just gonna grab both of these points and I'm gonna move it over here like this okay and this might look funny let's go ahead and put that underneath okay see some of our ribbon is starting to come together and let's just position that a little bit better I think something like that will work and I'm gonna just duplicate that going that back to the point selection tool I'm just gonna click that and press control C for copy and then control V for paste and I'm going to take this same object I'm just, and now I'm going to do a free transformation control T I'm going to turn it around like that okay and going back to the selection tool points point selection tool I'm going to put that in place like that okay and if I select both of these layers and press V and then go right here to the vertical align tool it's just going to center those things for me now what we need to do is just put a little piece connecting right here so I'm gonna create a new path using the pen tool I'm gonna hold down P and I'm just gonna click right here and I'm gonna click right here and I'm gonna click here and let me close that out there you go and I'm gonna go back to the point so direct selection tool I'm just gonna move that over a little bit okay now this is on the wrong layer let me grab that I'm just gonna do control X I'm going to cut that to another layer and I'm going to duplicate this layer and I'm going to paste that and I'm going to delete this other stuff. Okay. Let me delete this side too. So I just duplicated the layer. Okay. And let's make that a little bit darker so we can get more of a 3D effect. Okay. Nice. Now let's select that. Let's go ahead and hit A and grab that and let's control C copy and then control V paste. There we go. Okay, let's put that back in place. And let's go ahead and rotate that. Okay, and let's move this point and connect it there. So I'm just gonna go to the direct selection tool, which is Shift A. I'm gonna grab that and just move it right there, connect it. Okay, that's looking pretty good. We got our 3D elements. Open this up a little bit. I'm gonna go back to our top layer and I'm just gonna collect this point and holding down shift I'm gonna move it twice like that and holding down shift I'm gonna move it twice like that on this side 
Okay, just to create some contrast between this and that, but I think I'm gonna open this up too. Just one time. Maybe two times, okay. So let's make that even. It doesn't have to be even, but I'm just gonna make it even for the sake of the design. Okay, let's select all three of these by holding down shift. And let's just move this to the center of our canvas. Okay, now let's put some type on there. Uh, happy holidays, let's grab white. Go ahead and make that bigger. Just control T and free transform that type. Okay. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna snap that to the center. Now I'm gonna throw all these things into a group. So the easy way to do that is just to hold down shift and select all the uh, options and then drag that layer stack onto the folder. Okay, now you can see group one and that is our group. Now I'm gonna duplicate that. I'm gonna right click this and I'm gonna convert it to a smart object. Okay, now all these things are grouped into one object and let's go ahead to free transform and let's go to the warp tools which are available right here okay and let's select a flag okay now we have a nice and we can adjust this if we want I don't want it to be too much going on so maybe I'll just go like that okay and let's put a drop shadow on there. I'm going to double click the layer and just select drop shadow. And let's set this angle to 90. I'm just going to drop dial that in. Okay, and let's create a little distance. And let's fade it just a little bit and let's turn it back. Okay, so there's one example. And let's duplicate this original layer again. Take it down to the layer stack, duplicate. And let's bring that down here. And let's go ahead and convert that to a smart object okay and let's do the same thing control T free transform and let's select the warp tools and let's try an arc see how that looks okay and I like how that looks so I'm gonna click the warp tools I'm gonna come out of the warp tools and go back to the size options and we can see that our shape has got a little bit bigger so I'm just gonna shrink it down all right so it's the same size Okay, happy holidays. Now here's the cool thing. If I go in, if I double click this option, I can put from Pixelator. And if I do Control S, it'll save it and Control W, it'll come back and you can see that the type is being adjusted. And I can do the same thing here, happy holidays. Let's double click this, go into edit mode and let's put a uh, and happy new years and that's a little bit big so I'm just gonna do control a select all and I'm gonna go to the type options and I'm just gonna reduce the spacing between the letters okay and select okay and let's close that back out and control s control w okay and let's go to the background layer and just throw some background color in here. Uh, I'm just going to throw blue. And let's go to the gradient tool and let's just throw a circular gradient behind all this. Okay, and let's throw a shadow on these other two options. So if I select this layer that has the layer effects, I can right click it and say copy layer style. Well, I can click this layer and apply it here. But you'll see that these can't be changed because these are just the raw Photoshop layers. So I'm going to convert this as well into a smart object. And then I'm going to paste our layer style. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Make sure you subscribe and have a happy holidays and a happy new year. Okay, bye-bye.